Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Buryawan and today we're doing another everyday photography challenge and right now we're here at a small little restaurant it's a very home feeling kind of restaurant in the countryside again in Yogyakarta, Indonesia so yeah, I thought I wanna try to squeeze a little bit of photography time right here while eating dinner together with my wife as well so yeah, let's try to discover and find some composition in this location also, I invite you to join the Everyday Photography Challenge as well. You can submit your everyday pictures. It doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just whatever pictures that you try to make an effort to make, you can submit it to this link right here. And I will also put the link on the description below. This is more of an exercise for us so that we're, uh, we're trying to make an effort for photography every day. Not really aiming for perfection, but more for your exercise so that you can uh, be a better photographer every day. Now let's try to discover some composition in this unique location right here. I think I found uh, some interesting spots that I want to photograph. As you can see behind right there, uh, that's the paddy field, my favorite subject of photography. And then right over here on the restaurant, there's like an outdoor seating area that's quite interesting and it's overlooking the paddy field as well. I think I want to try to discover that angle as well. And also I want to try to photograph the interior. There are some interesting things inside and I want to try to capture that as well. In terms of camera gear today, I brought uh, my beloved Panasonic GX85 right here and also the Panasonic 12 to 32 millimeter kit lens together with me. This will be the most versatile lens today because it can cover multiple focal lengths from wide angle to a little bit of telephoto. I also brought with me the 20 millimeter pancake lens f1.7 for environmental portrait of my wife uh, i think this is such a really nice lens and i want to try to use this lens as well today i also brought some other lens like the lawa 7.5 millimeter wide angle lens uh, f2 but uh, i don't think i'm going to use this lens today because i don't really see any wide angle opportunity today i want to try to uh, just focus on small kind of framing that kind of stuff tighter framing because i think it's uh, more enjoyable and also i brought with me the 35 to 100 millimeter panasonic f4 to f5.6 telephoto lens in case i want to try to isolate something far away or i want to do a close-up tight composition all right so first thing first i want to try to get an environmental portrait of my wife so right now i have with me the gx85 with the 20 millimeter f1.7 aperture priority f2.0 very standard setting as you might already know if you watch my other vlogs so this is just a very simple composition vertical i'm trying to get my wife together with the uh, paddy field and the trees behind something like this let's do it one more time I'm going to try to do a horizontal composition as well something like this yep I love the background blur and also the addition of the paddy field and the trees behind very nice composition very simple I really enjoy this kind of pictures uh, can you move over here a little bit yes I want to try to get rid of that pole and yes this looks nicer and as you can see if I move back a little bit there's this kind of uh, thing on the roof like uh, this <laughs> kind of weird thing the swirly swirly thing right there I want to try to include it on the frame as well let's try something like this maybe I don't know if it makes the picture better or not but again this is sort of a exercise rather than uh, trying to get a perfect picture so yeah I think we have some nice portraits of my wife we're gonna try to take some more nice one more time last one i want to try to get rid of that building on the left let's do something like this one more very nice all right <laughs> all right so i found these plants over here on the left uh, it's uh, kind of helping to frame my wife in this uh, kind of portrait right here so again i'm still with the gx85 and 20 millimeter i'm trying to get a, a vertical composition uh, using those plants right there as sort of a uh, uh, framing device for the portrait something like this very simple composition 
nothing too fancy I'm still trying to include the battery field as well because I think it's such a great addition so I'm at aperture priority f2.0 but as you can see if I if I move my camera too much then the exposure will change too much as well so I'm, I'm going to use the AE lock button right here and I got about f2.0 500 shutter speed and 200 ISO yeah perfect all right I'm gonna try to get some more poses from my wife something like this might look nice I'm gonna try to do uh, horizontal as well I think this looks really nice can you uh, yeah do like that yes all right it's a little bit windy we're just going to try our best I want to try to get in a little bit closer and I want to try to rotate the camera just a little bit I think this angle is really nice yep very simple all right nice all right so I want to try to capture a little bit of the vibe of this place because it's so cozy it's almost a feeling like I'm at home with so many plants and paddy field it feels very countryside and I love it so I'm changing lenses right now I changed to the 12 to 32 millimeter kit lens and I want to try to capture this bench together with those plants and the paddy field behind let's try to do that a very simple vertical composition like this and I want to try to uh, be at 12 millimeter the widest focal length as possible to try to include as many in the frame as possible sometimes it's not a good idea to include so many things on your uh, frame because it look too cluttered but sometimes this is exactly what you want so as a photographer your job is to determine which focal length is best and how do you react to a certain situation and right now I think including as many in the frame as possible is the best choice so yeah this is what I'm doing right now very simple vertical composition let's try horizontal we'll experiment a little bit and I'm getting a little bit of this chair right here I want to try to move it now let's try again very simple composition the main subject is the bench right there yeah right so I want to try to capture a little bit of the interior of the restaurant as well I found this nice little spot right here with many plants and wall decoration as you can see right there I think uh, this looks really nice and really adds to the vibe of the restaurant so again with the 12 to 32 I'm going to go a little bit tighter to about 18 and trying to capture just the plants and the wall decoration I think this is such a cool spot something like this I'm at f5.6 aperture priority auto ISO and I'm getting about ISO 3200 50 shutter speed very simple vertical composition all right And that wraps up today's video so that's today's vlog i hope that today's photos are interesting and inspiring for you uh, this is again i would just want to emphasize that this is not for aiming perfection trying to get the best picture no that's not the point of this vlog but rather i want to have a little bit of exercise time so that i can take you guys along and so that you can see my thought process when i uh, try to photograph something so i hope this has been helpful for you also don't forget to join the everyday photography challenge you can submit to this link right here again i will put on the description below and yeah i hope to see you on the next video also don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video and subscribing to my channel down below thank you and see you goodbye